I'll start with AppMap, which provides both high-level and low-level views of end-to-end -end code and data flows. If you want to follow along in the code or look it up later, I've created a fork of the Rails sample app 6th edition. Within that fork is a branch called Eager Loading. So what's AppMap? AppMap is an OSS project that I created and I'm working on actively. App maps help you navigate and improve your code by showing you how it really behaves feature by feature as you work. It does this by recording code behavior into app map files during program execution. Then you can visualize the app maps or analyze them using built-in analysis or your own custom code. For Ruby, you install app map as a gem, then configure which source files and dependency gems you want to record. Then you record app map files by running code, such as test cases. This is different than static analysis, which only looks at your files on disk. App map records your code while it's running, so it knows exactly what happened at every point and how all the code, services, and data stores fit together. To create app maps, you install and configure the app map gem. Then run any code, such as a test case, with app map equals true. Let's take a live tour using the Rails sample app. I'll start by logging in. The function of this app is to make little Twitter style micro posts. I've installed app map in the gem file. And I've configured the Rails source directories and some selected dependency gems in appmap.yml. Now I can run any test with app map equals true to generate app maps. I'll run a test, an integration test called users sign up test. In this project, I have app maps of every mini test test case. Each app map is a data file that contains a wealth of information about what happened in the code while a test case ran. If I open any app map, I get a visual depiction of the code execution that's interactive. Opening any app map shows the dependency map view. This is your big picture view. You can see all the components that are relevant to what you're working on and how they're connected. It shows HTTP server requests, code, and SQL. You can search and navigate through web services, code, libraries, and SQL, all in the context of a particular feature. Code is depicted as packages, which can be packages in this project or third-party gems. And for many node, you can drill down into the trace view. The trace view shows code execution in detail as a tree. At the base of the tree are HTTP server requests. The leaves of the tree are functions and queries. Each function call and query has full details, parameter values, return values, exceptions, 
all recorded from program execution. You can click View Source on any class or function to open the source code in the IDE. Key functions are labeled so that you can quickly find important functionality such as authentication and cookies. So AppMap combines low-level and high-level information. and links it all together. And it shows you how the code handles requests, how key functions such as authentication are performed, and how incoming requests affect the database and external services like S3 and other web and cloud services. Cloud Map provides the high level navigation of the code interactively like a Google map. You can write analysis code on the app map data, which we'll see in a later section. And from app maps, you can dive into source code, debuggers, et cetera, for further details.